Hi everybody, I'm Angel, and with me today is Judy. Today is Friday, February 26th, and here's what's been happening this week inside LHS. Next Friday, March 4th, marks the halfway point for Term 3. Progress reports will be sent home the following week. You have five weeks left to improve your grades. Term 3 will end April 8th. If you want to know more about your progress report, go see your guidance counselor or log into your power school. The 2016 Dancing with the Stars is just a week away from today, taking place on Friday, March 4th. This year's competition is going to be hosted at the PAC at 7 p.m. The competition consists of students teaching their teachers how to dance certain styles such as bachata, merengue, salsa, disco, and so on. Hi, I'm Alejandro, and with you, the dancers in this year's Dancing with the Stars. Introduce yourselves and tell us who your partner is and what style of dance you'll be dancing. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Camillo. Um, my partner is Ms. Duval, and I'll be dancing the waltz. Hi, I'm Denisco Morales. My partner is Mr. Rasnan, and we'll be dancing the Viennese waltz. Hi, I'm Christy Adamis. My partner is Mr. Cordero, and we're going to be dancing the foxtrot. Hi, my name is Yashira Masonette, and my partner is Mr. Torres, and we'll be dancing salsa. What has been the hardest thing preparing for Dancing with the Stars? Well, it's been being consistent to making it to practices, like if my partner's busy and I'm busy, we can't make it to practice on the same time. What has been the best part? The best part would be making our dances our own from like the song, the way we dance it, and the costumes. So that's the details of the show. It happened, it's happening on Friday, March 4th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $5 and everyone's invited. Tomorrow, the Lawrence JRTC math team will be heading towards their second official competition at Revere High School. They will go up against 10 other schools head-to-head -head for the first time this season, since the previous two competitions were canceled due to snow. The teams did a postal competition here at Lawrence High before the winter break. They will perform in multiple categories, academics, marksmanship, and PT, then send their scores in to be scored. The JRTC academic team placed third overall. The male and female PT team both placed first in the VSIC category, and three shooters own earned earned medals in marksmanship. All winners will be awarded at the competition tomorrow. We'll be back next week with the results from tomorrow's competition. Good luck, Lancers. On Saturday, the LHS robotic team, the Gearheads, competed in the Week Zero event up in Merrimack, New Hampshire, along with 20 other teams, both veterans and rookies. This event served as a chance for teams to get first-hand experience with an official RFC-made field and to debug any problems with the field. The Gearheads have been meeting nearly every night and will continue meeting until the next official competition this March 11th, 12th, and 13th. Best of luck to them. Hi, we are from Robotics. My name is Tatiana. I'm Pat. And I'm Rosa. And we're going to talk about what's happening in robotics right now. So last week was week zero and we had a scrimmage in New Hampshire to test out our robot that we just finished this week. And next two, well in two weeks from now, in March 2011, 12 and 13, we'll be having our first official competition. The competition is in Reading High School and it's free to everyone and you can join if you want. For any Lawrence High School girls who are planning to go to the senior prom this year, the dress of your dreams could be within reach. Belle of the Ball is an opportunity to shop for a prom dress from a personal shopper, shop for prom accessories, receive free hair and makeup tips, and enjoy a day of entertainment also with gifts. However, this private event, this is a private event, and only qualified girls with a formal invitation by an approved partner can attend. More, for more information, or if you're interested, please get in contact with either Tracy Cars Belarjan from MST or Julia O'Donnell of BMF. One INT ESL class led by Mrs. Powers were inspired by the famous poetry writer Maya Angelou. PFA student Sabrina Morgan developed an original dance for the INT to perform with their own interpretation of the famous poem Harlem Hopscotch. Here's the performance. One foot down and hop, it's hot. Good things for the ones that's got. Another jump now to the left. Everybody for yourself. In the air, now both feet down. Since you're black, don't stick around. Food is gone, rent is due. Cuss and cry, and then jump to all the people out of work. Hold for three, now twist and jerk. Cross the line, they count you out. But that's what happened. Right. 
Up next is this week's Lancer Sports with Sammy and Joseph. What's up? It's Samuel. With me today is Joseph. We're back with another update on which sports your Alex Chips. The boys varsity basketball team played their final regular season game, and senior night game this Tuesday beating Orlando for your Alex Chips. This was a must-win game for the Lancers as they placed them in the state tournament. We will have a playoff update for next Friday here at this Another news, the wrestling season has come to an end, except for those who qualify for state. The team had a decent season this year and will be looking to improve the next season. Match of luck to the team as one of those who qualify for state. Spring sports will be underway in about two weeks. LHS offers baseball, tennis, outdoor track, and volleyball for girls, and softball, tennis, and outdoor track for girls during the spring season. If you plan on playing any spring sports, be on the lookout for any informational meetings or make sure your physicals are up to date. That's all for this week on Which is Punch. We'll see you next week. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys, for the update. This upcoming Monday is an event that happens only once every four years. February 29th is a leap year day. Every four years is an extra day added to the calendar to keep it in line with the Earth's rotation around the sun. Technically, a typical Earth year is 365 days and a quarter of a long, a quarter of a day long. Now, do you see why leap years occur every four years? So if it's February 29th only happens every four years, what does that mean for all of our leap year babies? Usually they simply celebrate it on the 28th of February or the 1st of March. Winter is coming to a close with the start of spring. March 1st marks the meteorological start of spring. Meteorological referring to the seasons being split into four periods to coincide with the weather, while astronomical refers to the seasons being split to coincide with the Earth in relation to the sun. The astronomical start will be Sunday, March 20th. Well, that'll do it for this week's Inside Letter Chess. Have a great weekend, everybody, and tune in for the next week's news. We'll be leaving you with footage from the boys' basketball senior night, which took place this Tuesday. That I can make my dance the way I want to, like pick out the song, the way I want to dance it, and the costumes. Tell us the details of the show. Um, it will be on February, March 4th. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> February, March. Get <laughs> <laughs> back in there. Fail. And he continues to play hard, because that's who he is. He's committed to be an excellent person, an excellent athlete, and an excellent young man. Mike Kavan. And his This young man has played with us for three years. Um, I've seen him grow from freshman year to senior year. He's a great young man. Um, he'll be attending college and making his brother proud. His brother next to him playing with him will be with us next year. And um, very proud of what he's turned out and continue to be. But now we are drinking his brother Carol.
um, and be a great person because that's who he is. He's a hard worker. He doesn't know anything else but to, hard, to be a hard worker. Let's recognize Kevin Mangalow.